I'm Dr. Pani Madhuri. I'm a consultant reproductive medicine at Matutva Fertility Center, Kormangla, Bangalore. Now, this is such a tricky question. Whenever the woman asks me whether I'm really going to have a good healthy baby with this kind of a poor ovarian result, I always tell her that we are at crossroads where we've already had some problem and there are few, though not very effective, means to help increase your eggs or probably increase the number or the quality of your eggs. But definitely this is something that we are going against nature, we are treading a rough path, so the answers could be always questionable. For example, see when we know that we cannot produce fresh set of eggs, I can only change to an extent whatever the number is already there, slightly change their quality and try to bring out as many eggs which are there from the primary pool into the active pool which can be used for fertilization. That is all that we can do. But if there is a genetic etiology to the poor ovarian reserve and that is what is responsible for this condition, I am so sorry to tell you that probably we may not have much help from that side. And these are patients which may also go in for premature ovarian failure. So treatment aspects, we have always seen that these women who have slightly faster aging ovaries tend to have decreased hormone levels, that is the male kind of hormone levels in their body, that is the androgens. And that is why we try and supplement these women with some kind of androgens to help them come out with better quality eggs in better numbers. So for the androgens that we commonly use in this category are DHEAS, testosterone and growth hormone which is not an androgen but which has proven to help these poor ovarian reserve patients. They are used in various modalities for various duration of time based upon the criteria of the patient to what an extent the reserve is less and they are tried in various uh, durations to try and help them improve their egg number and egg quality.